Hello students. Well, this is our last video in our series of videos on index laws. So let's read the instructions and then have a go. By rewriting the expression if required and then using index laws, simplify each of the following using the smallest possible base. So what they're asking us to do is to simplify this, but to first see if we can change the base of 9 to a smaller number. Well, the only way we can do that is if we can write 9 as a power. And it turns out, of course, we can write 9 as 3 to the power of 2, all raised to the 2n. And similarly, in the denominator, I write 9 as 3 to the power of 2, all to the n. So I've now got a smaller base. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. Well, 3 squared to the 2n is 3 to the 2 times 2n, which is 4n, over 3 to the 2 times n, which is 2n, and that becomes 3 to the, to rate, uh, sorry, to divide powers with the same base, subtract indices, 4n, subtract 2n, is 2n. Okay, try the second question. A quick hint, that has to be changed to a power of 2, which then allows you to use the index law for multiplying powers with the same base. So have a go, please. Okay, let's see how you went with that one. So the 2 to the n stays as 2 to the n. 4 becomes 2 squared, all to the n plus 1. Okay, our next step is to simplify this factor. So 2 to the n times 2 to the... Well, we have to multiply the powers. I've got to multiply 2 by all of that. So that becomes 2n plus 2. 2 times n plus 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, and the last step to multiply powers with the same base, add indices, n plus 2n plus 2, and all of that simplifies 2 to the n plus 2n is 3n, whoops, made a mistake, let's fix that. All that simplifies is 2 to the 3n plus 2. Okay, one question to go. I'll just give myself a bit of space to do this question. Now, once again, what we have to do first is turn each of these numbers into the same base. And once we've done that, then apply index laws to simplify. So have a go at that one, please. Okay, let's see how we went here. Well, 125 is 5 times 5 times 5, or 5 to the power of 3. 5 to the n stays as 5 to the n. 5 to the 2n stays as 5 to the 2n. And 25 becomes 5 to the power of 2. So now we've written each of those uh, expressions with uh, to the base 5. Now let's go ahead and write that as a single fraction. So 5 cubed times 5 to the 2n in the numerator. Whoops. Let's write a 5. My denominator is 5 to the n times 5 squared. Okay, the next step. Let's simplify the numerator to multiply powers with the same base. Add indices, 5 to the 3 plus 2n. And I'll just rewrite that as 2n plus 3, because I can add in any order. 5 to the n times 5 squared is 5 to the n plus 2. OK, we're almost there. I'll give myself a bit more space again. Now, one last step to divide powers with the same base, subtract indices. That becomes 5 to the 
2n plus 3 minus n plus 2. Well, let's subtract like terms. 2n minus n is n plus 3 minus 2 is 1. And there's the final answer. So for these last set of uh, problems, quite tricky ones, the first thing we did is we simplified the terms by getting a common base. You can't always do it, but the numbers were chosen nicely, so we could turn them all into the same base. And then we had to keep applying a variety of index laws to simplify. So that's the end of our videos on index laws. So um, hopefully you learned a little bit and your plan now should be to open up your textbook and continue to solve index law problems. So good luck with that. And we might see you in the next series of videos, which continues our study of algebra.